Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And we have members, too, of our armed forces who are out here. Again, another reviewing stand right here, Wolf. It's so loud I can't hear the director, but I think you guys are saying toss back to you. But we will be here. We are hoping that the president and the first lady will get out here. And uh, if they do, we'll be here, Wolf. Back to you. Don Lemon, he's got a, a lot of uh, friends over there uh, on Pennsylvania Avenue near the new ZMR. You see the uh, vice president, Dr. Jill Biden. They're going through the rotunda now. They'll be going outside together with the president, the first lady, the speaker, the majority leader, the uh, minority leaders as well. They're going to be walking down those stairs and they're going to be reviewing the troops. So in effect, saluting the troops, saying thank you so much for everything the men and women of the United States military do. This is the last official act. Jeffrey Tubin, that uh, the president and the first lady will do before they get into the motorcade, the presidential limo, to take them on that route down Pennsylvania Avenue from the Capitol all the way over to the White House. And if, for those people who know Washington, they're going to go down Pennsylvania Avenue. They'll make a right turn at 15th Street. They'll go up 15th Street. They'll make a left. They'll come up to where we are right here, this reviewing stand here on the North Lawn of the White House. You know, when President Kennedy made this trip in 1961, he was so appalled by the conditions along the way that the buildings were falling down. He actually said, we have to get um, this, this area improved. And it took a long time. Daniel Patrick Moynihan was later the senator uh, from New York. He was uh, responsible in, for, for trying to revive Pennsylvania Avenue. And it is so different and so much improved uh, than it was uh, much earlier. But it was an inaugural parade that had very significant effect. Here they come, the president and the first lady. Uh, they're pretty happy right now. They're going through uh, Statuary Hall. They're going to be walking down the stairs saluting the men and women of the United States military. And as they do that, let's remember, Kate, that there are still almost 70,000, about 65,000 U.S. troops still serving in Afghanistan right now. Uh, all U.S. troops are out of Iraq, but there are still about 60, 65,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan, all of them in harm's way. All U.S. troops are supposed to be out of Afghanistan by the end of 2014. Uh, maybe they could accelerate that withdrawal a little bit. But as the president and the first lady, they go down these stairs. Let's remember those men and women who remain in harm's way in Afghanistan and in elsewhere Absolutely. around the world. There's still a lot, a lot of serious issues throughout North Africa, the Middle East, in Asia. It's still about 25, 30,000 U.S. troops along the DMZ, the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea as well. Uh, and, and so let's not forget those troops as we watch We're what's going on. We're reminded of it almost every day as we see in the headlines that we cover of how what a dangerous world this is and how our, our troops are protecting us. As we're awaiting the president and, and uh, president and the first lady as well as Joe Biden, uh, the vice president, Dr. Biden, to, to review the review the review the military and then get into their cars to start the start the fun, as we like to say. Uh, Jeffrey, I wanted to ask you your thoughts on the oath this time around. You know. It was Chief Justice Fonda's hope. He's not the story today. He, you know, he, it was a flawless performance on his part. They did a really good job. Uh, Anderson, they're going to be moving down Pennsylvania Avenue toward you guys. You might even be able to look to your right a little bit, and you might see the, the parade, the floats, the, the, the bands, and the president going out. That's right. And Ardana Bash is with uh, Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta uh, while President Obama is about to review the troops. Let's, uh, let's, let's actually take a look. And uh, just listen.
we listen to the fife and drum, uh, let's go to Dana. She's got a very, very special guest, uh, an appropriate one right now. Dana? This is one of those cases where it's better to be lucky than good, and we do have the Secretary of Defense right now with us as we are watching the Commander-in-Chief review the troops. You are the departing Defense Secretary, but you obviously have a front-row seat to the President's relationship with those people who he's honoring right now. Uh, he's he's really had a terrific relationship with the uh, the military. He's been uh, very supportive. His wife, of course, and uh, Jill Biden have been very supportive of benefits for uh, our wounded warriors and for their families. And uh, because of that, I think the troops uh, really have a very high regard for him. And, and it's important because, uh, frankly, these young men and women have to go into battle, put their lives on the line, and to have the president of the United States be able to back you 100 uh, percent, you can't beat that. You are, this is the beginning of the president's second term, you are leaving. What do you hope to see in the second term from afar, from uh, your, your winery in Northern California? Well, you know, I think, I think it's really important that uh, they provide some budget certainty here. Um, you know, we're, we're going through, obviously, a deficit reduction. Uh, it's important that defense play its role. Uh, but we fashioned a strategy that protects uh, the United States as the strongest military power on Earth. If the Congress allows the sequester to go in or if these budget cuts impact, I think that'll do incredible damage to our defense. And real quick, one of the first official acts that the president did in his second term was to officially nominate your successor, Chuck Hagel. Right. It's pretty controversial up here. It looks like he'll get through. But do you feel that some of the criticism is warranted? No, you know, I, I know Chuck Hagel, and uh, I'm very confident that, uh, first of all, he'll, he'll win confirmation. Uh, and, you know, he'll get some tough questions, but uh, there's no question in my mind he'll be able to handle it. Okay. That's what Secretary of Defense has have to do. Okay, thank you. And the mood in there, was it pretty good it in the lunch? It was great. It was okay. a great mood. Okay, yeah. thank you for stopping. Thank good you. luck to you. Bye-bye. Back to you, Wolf. Thanks very much, uh, the President and the First Lady, the Vice President, the Second Lady. They have wrapped up their review of the troops, a, a nice gesture to wrap up. An historic day up on Capitol Hill. They're now in the presidential limos. Uh, the motorcade is getting ready to leave to depart Capitol Hill. And this will be the official start of the parade. They will go down Pennsylvania Avenue. They'll drive for a little while. But at some point, they will stop. They will uh, get out. We are told uh, the crowds will go crazy. They have been waiting for hours and hours on both sides of Pennsylvania Avenue. Security is intense, obviously, for good reasons. But uh, this is one of the most exciting moments. And, you know, Kate, as we get ready to see the start of this parade, you've been doing a lot of research on the floats <laughs> and the marching bands. Give us a little preview. I am so excited because I know, I know that the are. floats especially are going to be great. The, the floats are going to be fabulous. And all there are some 8,800 people that are going to be involved with this parade. Also, you might want to know, some 200 animals involved really? with the parade. Really? What kind of animals? I, th that re like horses my, and stuff my like that. My research did not go that far. Right. But I <laughs> stand by. It's a surprise. Yeah, all right. Good. We also have eight official inaugural floats that include um, honoring the home states of both the uh, Obamas as well as the Bidens. So we will see those, and those would be very that great. That would be Hawaii important. and Illinois and Delaware, among exactly, others. Exactly, among others. So we're waiting for those. 59 groups, marching bands galore that we're going to be looking for. So there's going to be a lot going on. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a celebration. And some odd numbers that I have here, 41 is the number of unicyclists we will be seeing. Unicyclists, in the parade too. Today. Wow.